Hello everybody, this review is on a photo edi editing app called Aviary. I think that's how you pronounce it. So basically I'm going to be doing a review on this. Let me just get in there of course before we uh, start this review. Let me see what's going on here. So what we're going to do here is just pick an image and then we'll take it from there. So I'll pick, these are a bunch of images I took. I'll, maybe I'll take this one here. It's got some nice colors to it. So I took this image. I'm an amateur uh, photographer. So what can you do with the Avery app? First off, what I like to do is click on Enhance. You can click on different, uh, different things you can do. Here's Illuminate, HD. HD is a nice one. It kind of sharpens it, brings a color out, color fix. So I'm going to click on high def. I'll keep the high definition on. <clears throat> what else I like to do? Um, let me see here what else I like to do. Lighting. You can adjust the lighting. You bring it up and down. Sharpness is a nice one because what that does, if you turn it to the right hand side, you'll notice it gets sharper and sharper. But you don't want it to be too much because then what happens is if you post it on Facebook and you look at it, um, look, look at it, a larger version of this on Facebook on your laptop or iPad or whatever, it looks pixelated and it just doesn't look good. So you want to just use this thing minimalistically just a little bit to give it a little bump to make it look clearer but not overkill. Click on apply. Other things you can do, you can put text in there if you want. You can move that around with your hand. And then you can adjust the colors as well, obviously. I don't think you can adjust the fonts from what I've what I've read. But we'll just put something in there. You click on there, delete everything, and then if you want, you can, you know, birds of a feather. Birds of uh Feather stick to gather. You can do that there. And then you can adjust it this way. You can go all over the place if you want. I usually just keep it kind of small. And then you can also do other things. You can um, you can put in little icons if you want as well. Um, I have my little icon thing here, so I'm going to put an image of a bird, a little icon of a bird. Let me just find one here. Let me just see quickly here. Any type of bird. Come on, come on. Where's a bird? I don't see a bird. Am I blind? There we go. Click on apply. Then you can move that around. Click on apply. So that's going to be there. The little bird is there. It's kind of hard to see it, but there it is. You click on done. If you want to click done, then it's complete. Splash. I don't like to use splash, but that adjusts the color as well. You can put the color thing here. Make it a black and white. Make it warm. You can adjust the warmness of it. The tint. You can have different colors of it. You can make it look greener more of a red tinge you can fade it I don't like to use that either orientation you can just basically flip it and you can flip it this way so it's backwards and upside down I don't like to use that either focus we'll just make one area focus and every other area of this image is uh, <clears throat> blurry and you can stretch that out Make it small. Stretch it out. Kind of gives it a little bit of a feel to it. Once again, I'm not a big fan of this, but you can do a lot of different things. So there's a lot of options you can do. Go this way, because I don't want I don't want to use that either. Crop it. You give it the square. This is perfect for Instagram. Give it the square uh 
Because that's it's a one by one option for Instagram. So if you want to know what it's going to look like on Instagram, you you can click on the square, customize it, so you can do whatever size you want, so forth. Just get it. I'm going to go back to original, bring it right up here. Where is it? And I'm just going to go back because I don't want to do anything with that vignette. Once again, it's the same kind of thing. You can. With the vignette, you can adjust the size using both your hands. You can move it around. What it does is just blacks out the areas around the circle or oval, whatever kind of shape you've done, as you can see. And you can adjust that. So you can have it black, white, and then you can make it transparent so it's a little bit, or just super black or super white. Overlays, uh, you can have it so it just... As you can see here, there's different options, circles, squares, hexagon, vertical, every option you can think of. Once again, I'm not going to do that. The stickers, you can put it in a bunch of different stickers. Um, not really interested in that either. And typeset is kind of cool. You can adjust the typeset. Then you just download the typeset in order to to download the different fonts you can use on the site. So you click on apply. Apply. Click done. And that's it, it's done. Now it saves it. And there you are, you're finished. And from there, if you want, you can go to Instagram or whatever you use. I pretty much use Instagram almost exclusively. And then um, it, it's all set for you because you can't really do too much of a type feature in, in Instagram. Here's, here it is. There you go. Click on crop. And there you go. Birds of a feather. All done for you. Looking real nice. Processes it. You put your blah, blah, blah in. And then you're done. Okay. So that's about it for my review here of uh, Aviary. Aviary? Aviary? I don't know what the name is called exactly. But anyways, it's a very popular photo editing app. Uh, used, I've been using it for a while. I don't use it all the time. Usually what I just use is um, the image editor in, uh, in Instagram. But uh, this, this, it comes in handy. You can do It's pretty powerful. There's, all, there's a ton of different options here. You can do memes as well. Top, bottom, whatever you want. There's so many different options here. Whiten, red eye, you can put text in again if you want, so forth. So that's about it. Thanks for watching this review of Aviary, whatever the hell it's called. Have a great day.